Hey everybody, this is Rich Herman with Osberg. I'm going to show you a quick workflow today using our ATLA application to show how to examine directional wellbore azimuths uh, from a specific operator. And this is just a follow up to something that we talked about in our recon daily intelligence brief newsletter that went out on Monday, January 18th. So one of the things that I was interested in is just kind of looking at uh, the pattern of well bores that XTO has drilled, let's say over the last five years as a as an old geophysicist. Uh, I am always reading and hearing about people wanting to drill perpendicular to, to fracture orientations, but in reality, it seems like every place I look, uh, it seems like basically spacings and uh, lease orientations are, which are usually lined up with, with grid systems, seems to have the bigger, bigger hold on azimuths. But one way to kind of take a look at this real quickly is we can go into our search interface and we're going to look over, let's say, just the last five years here. And in this case, we're only going to look for completions and well data because in our database, those are the two categories where we can typically find uh, at least well sticks so we can see what the orientation of the well bore is. And in this case, all we're going to do is type in XTO. That's as simple as it is. And we're going to go ahead and say search. And at this point, we found about 7,000 records that look like uh, associated with XTO. Uh, before we even drill into the data in any more detail, we're just going to go and take a look at those quickly in a map view. So we're going to pass that completion and well information over to the map engine. And we'll take a look at what some of those orientations look like. So we're starting to see some data appear here. Uh, we're still chugging along here on the completion data. You can see uh, where XTO is drilled down in, uh, in the Permian, down in southeast New Mexico uh, and across the border in Texas. Uh, in fact, let's go look at a few of those. Um, let's drill in here a little bit. And you can usually start to see some of those drill patterns pretty quickly. And when I, when I tend to look, Again, as I mentioned, we see a lot of well bores that are basically lining up uh, essentially with spacing patterns, which particularly in Mexico tend to be aligned with the section orientation. So we see a lot of north-south orientations here. Occasionally we see an east-west. Uh, it's interesting to me, occasionally at XPO, you know, you will see uh, a well bore that seems to be kind of off the standard pattern. And I, I don't know this for sure, but I, I suspect that occasionally, uh, given what the local geology is, uh, the engineers and geologists may test drilling a well at a different orientation relative to local fracture azimuths just to see if there's better production. But in general, as you can see, things typically line up north, south, east, west. And I don't think XTO is probably that different in that regard. Um, you can certainly see some of these, these super high density uh, frac patterns in Martland and Midland County uh, in the Permian. And what drew my attention uh, to this initially was why I just wanted to take a quick look at it, was to look and see what the patterns look like in Love County in Oklahoma. Now, when you look at the well patterns down here, Things are, again, mostly aligned kind of north, south, east, west, but you do see a little bit of variation in azimuth. And as I mentioned before, maybe there's a couple wells here that XTO has drilled uh, kind of off the land grid pattern, and maybe they are testing um, some other azimuths to see if there's any impact on production. Uh, we can kind of take a look at that um, in our own database here. Uh, one way we can do that in this area is we'll actually just go back to the map uh, AOI selection tool here. So we'll, we're going to create a new area of interest. And all I'm going to do is basically circle up uh, these wells. And we're going to go look at, again, we'll look at the last five years. Maybe we'll go back even 10 years of production. And let's take a look at this production data. In this case, I just want to look at wells where the first production is, say, is, let's see, over the last five years. So we'll just say where we have first production. 
later than or equal to, that is 2021 now, so let's say 2016-01. Why that? And now let's actually map those results. I'm going to turn off my AOI boundary here. And in this case, um, are actually looking at this in uh, more of a of a 3D view, where we can see. And let's check, make sure we're, we're sure what we're mapping here. Um, there's different ways that we can map production in Atla. Uh, in this case, we've got basically the IP90 mapped. And the reason I went ahead and picked that is because I, I wasn't sure exactly when these wells were drilled. And so I didn't want to necessarily look at a queue because we might be looking at a well that just came on recently. So I specifically looked at IP90. Um, and you can see there's decent oil production here from this well that's drilled off pattern, not something that's particularly anomalous versus the other ones. So again, just kind of a quick way to be able to kind of check um, whether you're seeing a certain pattern in azimuth, or more importantly, whether you're seeing kind of an anomaly uh, where something's being drilled in a different trajectory that maybe someone hasn't drilled before. And then just a quick way maybe to check that production data, whether you want to look at cubes, if the well's been around long enough, or just look at the, some, some of the IP values. So anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, for those of you that are our Osper customers, as always, thank you for your business. Appreciate it.